Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo in Parkway RV Center. Guys, got a very special travel trailer we're going to review today. I've had one or two of these over the years. They're very rare, um, very limited production model, very high-end, uh, tra well-built well travel trailer. And uh, every one of these we've had in the past sold before I could do a video on it. This one right here just came in hadn't even pulled it out from under the wash shed i'm just going to show it to you today it is a 2013 outdoor manufacturing wind river and i know a lot of people especially those up north and in canada are very familiar with this brand these are one of the few extreme four seasons uh built travel trailers on the market on up there with lance and some of the grand designs i mean this thing is very very well built um Let's walk around it, guys. It is a 240 RKSW. It's 29 feet, 8 inches long, has two slide outs, weighs 7,300 pounds. Notice the heavy duty overlapping fiberglass cap on the front. Got the, I don't know if you can see them right here, but got the little LED headlights. Striping and finish looks great. Guys, these walls are two inches thick, insulated, seven layer floor system the look how thick these right here these are inch thick insulated bays very very uh high-end well-built camper guys these are um five inch thick roof these things were built up in oregon and they were designed for the the mountains of west uh, canada year-round use way way more uh heavy duty insulation than you're going to need in most of the united states but better to have too much than not enough uh, all aluminum frame alloy wheels got the axles spread apart a little bit to help reduce sway very nice camper you know back in 2013 these things were over 40 grand new and they only they don't build these things in mass quantity like you see with Thor or Forest River, anything like that. I mean, these are built to last. Now, it does have a torn awning canvas. That's one reason is I'm selling it so cheap, guys. Get on RV Trader. Now, this is uh, the by far the lowest priced one on there. There's uh, not many of these because they don't build many of them, but I think the closest one to this was the 15 model, and it was $38,500. I'm selling this thing for $19.9, and it's really a bargain when you look at what you're getting. Um, you know, NADA retail, and uh, you know, low retail is like 21, high retail is 26 or 27 with no options. Uh, hang tight, I'll flash that up there. All right, now you can see I'm not BSing you about the value of it. Um, so I've got it for $19.9, and it's in really good shape. And you might have to spend two or 300 bucks put your awning canvas on it, but no big deal. It's got trail air suspension, fifth wheel suspension on a travel trailer, guys. It has a um, very, very heavy built. Look at this J-Wrap. This isn't that cheap aluminum J-Wrap. Like you see uh, on a lot of the travel trailers. Very, very tough. You've got power jack on the front. Got the double, it's got double batteries, double LP bottles. I'm gonna see something here, guys. These things came from the factory with a quick connect built into the regulator for the propane bottles and it does have it guys look here this is cool you attach this regulator it's got a separate lead for in a 12 foot line so you can put your barbecue grill onto your propane it came from that from the factory and that's the first time i've opened that and i was kind of curious if it was still there i know these campers pretty well guys even though i haven't had many of these i've always been fascinated by them they're just a neat camper really are really well well built in a travel trailer got a power awning got two entry doors uh, these are thermo insulated windows
and climate designed for seasons. Like I said, these are made for the Western Canadian mountain use. So these are definitely something, if you're going to winter camp, especially up north, this is what you want right here. Uh, all the, even the dump valves are enclosed in insulated compartments instead of having them exposed. Let's look inside. And guys, got the AC on, got a 15,000 BTU ducted roof air doing a fantastic job. It's got a few little cosmetic issues with it. I'll show you the best I can. Got a couple of little grease stains on the couch sofa. We tried to get it out the best we could, but been in there a while and it's hard to get that off. Uh, got a little bit of flaking on the trim pieces on the table booth. And I know this stuff's minor. I'd rather show it to you and you see it now than before you get down here. Got the nice countertops. Solid surface Corian. Of course, you know, guys, $40,000 and 13 for a trailer was a lot of money. Uh, now, equivalent of this motor, uh, of this travel trailer now would be about $15,000 more. But back then, I mean, this thing was was on up there. Like I said, it, it's Lance's and, and the, what was that, the Northwoods and, and the, all those other high-end models. This is, this is right up there with them. Got a sleeper sofa that makes a bed. You've got a table booth that makes a bed. A fireplace and a travel trailer, yes. And that fireplace can be set for the effect or it can be set for an auxiliary heat as well. A 5100 BTU electric heat. So to heat this whole area, in kitchen and living room area without running your furnace. This thing's got a massive 40,000 BTU propane furnace. So it is designed for extreme winter weather. Uh, I don't know if that's a 32 or 26 inch. Uh, got a Jensen stereo system with surround sound speakers. Solid hardwood cabinets, guys. Really neat. Um, the way they build these compared to a lot of other brands of travel trailers. Does have the remote control so you can put your slide outs out, all that good stuff, light, stabilizer jacks, main slide. Got the power stabilizers too, by the way. Refrigerator, I've had it on for a little bit. It is cold. Um, I gotta have them wipe it out a little bit, but uh, it's been on for a little while and it's enough to tell that it works, 18 degrees. And refrigerator is probably not to temp yet. No, but it's getting there. It's getting down in the 60s. So, you know, 99% of the time when freezer works, the refrigerator's just a few hours behind it. It takes these things a while to get to operating temp. Books and manuals are in here. Got some nice storage. This is an incredible deal for under 19.9. Let me know what you think about it in the comments, guys. I mean, Look on RV Trader. Look look what a used Wind River brings you on there. How much it's gonna cost you. Even though this is a couple of years older than those, it's still got the same quality construction. Got the walkthrough bathroom before you go into the bedroom. Uh, China RV toilet. Shower. Brr. You really feel that area up here. Skylight looks good. Look how thick that roof is, guys. That's a five inch thick roof. Seven layer floor. Even the frame of the table booth is aluminum. I mean, <laughs> outdoor manufacturing is, does an incredible job on these wind rivers, guys. I've always admired these and, and I'm just so happy I got to shoot one and show you all today because I know a lot of you, a lot of my viewers probably never heard of wind river, but uh, for those of you who've been in the RV industry for a while, like I have, these things are very coveted and uh, very hard to find. Like I said, they don't, they only build a few hundred of these a year, a couple hundred, two or three hundred compared to the big brand, the big boy, big box brands. I mean, these were built with quality in mind instead of quantity, and it really shows. I like that skylight here too. Got a little bit of yellowing like they all do from uh, from age around the little liner of the skylight, but doesn't hurt anything. Very cozy, guys. Uh, TV, cold air. 
really really this to me we're really underselling this thing um basically it's a 26.9 travel trailer i've got it for 19.9 and the reason why i'm selling it for this is because like i said it's going to need a you might spend a few hundred bucks on an awning canvas and a little stain on the sofa cushion and which i mean the stain on the sofa cushion and little spots on the booth that's part of buying a nine-year-old camper let's be honest with you it's less than half price what it costs new in 13 prices you know what a new camper cost in 2013 and what the equivalent of it today in 2021 cost is a whole different story um they've probably gone up 30 percent new prices since 13 so like i said the equivalent of this today is going to be closer to like 55 grand in a travel trailer and you know the, these manufacturers like this guys uh, just can't they can't build them like this anymore i mean they got to get them out get them out cheap and as quick as possible that's that's the new motto for the for the new for the new camper manufacturers is make them as quick and cheap as possible get them out there get them sold so we can get paid back when they built this this was for the people who could afford the best in a travel trailer use uh, our new travel trailer and they paid for that for that quality and they got that quality back then let me put it to you this way guys say um 15 20 years from now you take care of this camper this thing will still be in great shape you take care of it the 2022 models will be falling to pieces and this thing even though it's nine years older than those will still be in great shape with the same amount of care so um you get what you paid for you buy quality you pay for quality you get quality like everything else in life you buy cheap you get cheap um i'll show you the air works too i forgot to show you that let's see yeah <laughs> You know, that's a good thing. A lot of people don't realize it, but when you have a extremely well insulated camper, not only does it keep you warm in the winter, but it keeps you cooler in the summer. So keep that in mind. Full walk on roof, all that stuff. Like I said, five inch thick roof. Um, it's a neat camper. You know, it's got a little wear. I'm not gonna lie. It's just like any nine year old camper is gonna have, but all in all, it's, uh, it is what it is, very nice. If you're interested in this camper, I don't expect this thing to be on the market more than a day or two, if even that long. It may even sell in hours because people who know what the Wind River is and know the quality and they see that 19.9 price, they're going to be calling wanting to buy this thing from all over the country, those that know what this brand is. And uh, there's some really cool videos on YouTube, uh, factory uh, videos from Wind River, from, from outdoor manufacturing showing you. The benefits of this so make sure you check some of those out uh very informative and um let me know what you think in the comments guys it's 19.9 haggle free firm uh we will guarantee the refrigerator freezer roof air and slide outs both slide outs to work like they're supposed to uh anything else of course you can come inspect it yourself see what works what does and like i said I, I just point out the things that i see wrong with it like the awning canvas and the couple little cosmetic issues but guys that's just a that's part of buying a nine-year-old camper but you gotta look at what you're paying for this thing versus what it originally sold for and what a brand new one which there's not a brand there's very few brand new campers in 2022 and 2022 models that's the equivalent of quality of this one right here very very few and like i said they're 50 to sixty thousand dollars or more um of course, everybody knows Airstream's kind of the king quality of travel trailers. This is kind of the, the prince <laughs> right underneath the king. So this is something you think you're interested in. Give us a call at 706-965-7929. Call right away. Make sure it's available. I would strongly recommend leaving it a pause. I have a strange feeling this one's not going to be here long at all. Um just because it's what it is you know this isn't just a standard you know a keystone uh not key, well keystone springdale or you know this isn't a a coachman this is this is a very high-end well-built brand and you always get what you paid for anyway uh thank y'all for watching i really appreciate it 
I do like the sliding door here for privacy. It's never had a TV. God, even the walls. Look at that. No flex. I could do that with any other travel trailer out here, and this is hollow. I mean, you can't even you can't even make that give. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that, I know it's crazy, but trust me, it's a. Uh, you know, usually when you have a curved wall like this, you do that with anything else, it pushes in. This thing right here is 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 solid. Um. Yeah, guys, if you need a cold weather camper. Don't let this one get away. You can kick yourself in the rear end if you do. 19.9 haggle free firm. Doesn't matter how you pay for it. We do have financing available with approved credit and down payment. Always check with your banker credit union to see what kind of rate and terms they offer on a 13 model camper. Uh, before you check with ours, you have a basis of comparison. That should, that's true with any dealership, guys. You should always check with your own bank or credit union see what kind of rates and terms you can get compared to what we can get for you or whatever other dealer you're shopping. Um, we have no fees. It's 19.9 plus applicable sales tax. That's it. Easy, simple, and done. No upsells, no dock fees, no prep fees, no thousands of dollars in fees like a lot of other dealers add on to the advertised price. Um, if you're paying cash or, or you know paying your own money and not financing it, uh, and you're coming from out of state, you just bring me a, uh, do a wire transfer or bring me a cashier's check for 19.9, or if you have to, bring cash, but would prefer a cashier's check or wire transfer, but I'm not going to say no to it. If you do bring cash, it's just dangerous to travel with that kind of money. Um, but if you do, I mean, I'll take it, but like I said, I always prefer a more traceable uh, form of currency by a wire transfer or cashier's check. But if you're coming from out of state, you bring me 19.9 and it's yours. I mean, there's no, there's nothing else added to it. If you're financing it, we may have to collect sales tax. If you're from out of state, depends on what the bank you get approved for requires. Some requires to collect out of state sales tax or estimated out of state sales tax, some don't. Um, of course, all Georgia residents have to pay sales tax because you pay it anyway, whether you buy individual or for sale by owner, so it don't matter. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think about this camper. This is really cool. I'm very, very happy I got to, to film one of these before they sold. <laughs> um, so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, RVs with Big Bo. Uh, make sure you uh, go to my Facebook page, RVs with Big Bo. I'm going to put this one on there, too. Uh, and you can always message me through Facebook. Guys, I don't do sales. I'm not in sales. I do marketing, but I don't mind answering an rv question or two if, if you've got or advice or whatever just feel free to uh, message me on facebook that's the best way to get me i'm not in my office very often so i'm not usually there to take a phone call uh but anyway guys you can email us sales at parkwayrvcenter.com but on a hot ticket item like this you're way better off to call instead of email during business hours which is monday through friday 9 a.m to 6 p.m eastern time saturday 9 to 5 close sunday for lord's day and family days and close most holidays come out and take a look at it guys i'm getting low on travel trailers but this one right here is definitely my favorite one of all the ones we currently have even though i've got some that are more money that are newer but to me it's all about quality over a year model i would rather take one a few years old that's built like a tank like this one over a newer newer one that's just pieced together that even though the newer one may look nicer may have more technology but it's not going to hold up like this one will so let me know in the comments what you think guys older or better built or newer lesser quality built let me know which one you like um Thank you again for watching again, guys. Make sure you smash me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share on social media. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the bell notification button. Stay tight. Stay tuned, guys. If time permitting, I'll try to do another motorhome today. Uh, I'm not sure which one it'll be. I got a couple of choices. So um, thank you again for watching. Really appreciate it. And look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.